In today's video, you're going to learn how to remove super deep compacted material from under the toenail. This video is a follow-up video on one of your favorites. It's been a long time since her first video posted, so you might want to go back and re-watch that, but you're going to be shocked at her progress. So stay tuned. All right, I'll take that foot. Oh my goodness. They look amazing. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and turn on your notifications in case you are chosen as the winner in the random comment this game. One, that, was that one was bad, but not as bad as right, this one. Right, right. Yeah, but I still remember the gap that we got underneath from cleaning yeah. all of that stuff out. Today, I bet I can get it to look completely normal. I've just challenged myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited because um, I'm finally having some follow-up people oh, yeah. where I can post the before and after pictures because some people have come from so far away that they can't come back right. or I don't see and I always wonder about how their progress is doing. See, look, and she's like, oh yeah, I can see a difference. And then, uh, um, you know, she's like, oh, this week, well, because she's like, have you been consistent with putting that stuff on? And I'm like, no, actually, I haven't. She's like, Mom, you're going next week. You better put it like three times a day. <laughs> She's going to know that you're not doing it. <laughs> oh, funny. Because I know she is. Because <laughs> I'm just going to be truthful. <laughs> She's like, yeah, but can you imagine if you were doing it, like she said, twice a day? Yeah. What it would look like? And I'm like, I know. I said, why don't you listen when I tell you these things? <laughs> Like you guys have reversed roles. <laughs> right. I was letting one of the girls practice removing gel polish, mm -hmm. so my fingernails look horrible. I just have to post the before picture of this again. I am just amazed at the progress. There's just that one really yellow area on her big, big toenail on the inside. That area is being pressed on by her second toe when she's wearing her heels, and the pressure is causing the material to become even more compacted. I'm going to trim off as much as the lifted area as I can, but it's very tight underneath. She's going to have to soak a couple of times and I'm going to have to apply extra cuticle remover to try to get out more of that so the nail mycosis solution can penetrate into the area. Mm -hmm. I remember. Restoring her toenails without causing any additional problems is our goal, and that is why I'm not going to cut off all of the toenail that is lifted down to that dark yellow area. If I do that, the skin on the inside of her nail wall will encroach inward, and when the nail begins to grow, it will become even more painful, especially with that second toe pressing on the area of her big toe. So good. I, I, I wonder how many times I'm going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> they feel so much better. That's good. They're not squeezing like, your shoes. Feet. Yeah. That's the important thing. Do you know how many people are going to be inspired to improve their toenail situation because of the progress that your toes oh, have yeah. made? I, I'm impressed. I just wish I would have did it a long time ago. But I, you know, after going to the doctors, they're like, oh, well, your nail just has to fall off. I'm like, okay, my toenail is just not going to fall off. It needs, no. like, help. <laughs> it's sure not. Of course, the, um, the medicine that he put me on. I mean, there's so many friggin' side effects. You can go into kidney failure, mm -hmm. and I'm like, do I really want to take this? <laughs> I'm just saying, just trim the nail down. When it grows, just trim it. Just trim it. 
trim it. <laughs> It'll eventually come out white. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And what about your shoes? Did you clean the insides of your shoes? Um, my work shoes, no, but like tennis shoes I have. Oh, okay. good. The insert in my shoe mm -hmm. doesn't come out. <laughs> so I did try to pull it out, and of course it was down to like the bottom of the sole of the it's shoe. It's like, nope, I'm not I coming am. out. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> Yeah, so then you can spray the toes of your work shoes on the inside with the shoe yeah, and sock shoe. spray. Yeah. Yep. Time to thin out this big toenail a little bit more. I'm applying the nail mycosis solution to the big toenail to keep this dust down so it does not fly into the air. Oh yeah, totally. I can see all of the new healthy nail growth. There's like a ledge and your toenail has, it's not pinched so far, it's like flattened out. So as it grows, it's not going to, you know, be as tall or squeezy. Your nail grooves will move back out to where they belong. Here I am blending the front portion of the nail that is still thick to the back portion that has new nail growth. The nail should be as thin as possible without cracking or bending because you don't want it to break, but you do want the nail mycosis to be able to soak into the nail plate and get rid of the affected area um, to make it go away. I hope you guys saw the information about my new contest and I hope you participate. Don't forget to use the hashtag pedicure craze. Did you guys take any vacations over the holidays? No, no, I'm actually going to be taking a vacation in the next uh, two weeks. Uh, my daughter's due on February 4th. So oh, nice! So I'm just going to take um, a week off that way. She can get adjusted and <laughs> can be at home just in case she needs me. That's fantastic.
how much time is she going to take off from her job? She's hoping that a month. Um, I don't I really do hope you are all doing well at home. I know it might feel like you are stuck, but I hope you can look at it like you've also been given an opportunity to accomplish any of the things that you had on your list that you didn't have time to do before. Just don't forget to do something nice for yourself, do something nice for someone you love, and still try to do something nice for a stranger, because this will give you a sense of pride and accomplishment and give yourself a boost. You might wonder what I've been doing lately. I'm usually doing a lot of activity related to work because it does make me feel good to know that I am creating material to improve other people's lives. So I have been developing my global online training center. Many of you have been asking for a network of nail techs and I have been working hard on creating a way to give that to you. I've created the Global Meticulous Manicurist Online Training Center and Network, and as nail techs take my global course pack to learn everything they can about the Meticulous Manicurist way, I will add them to a network link page so you can find them. And you can visit the site and spread the word to get this network growing like crazy. And the website is academy.themeticulousmanicurist.com. All right. 
you can bend your knee. What did your husband say? Oh, he was like, well, he was impressed. He's like, wow. He's like, I never really looked at them thinking that they were that bad, but they were bad. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I was at work because my daughter's been checking to see if you had posted anything. And um, the night that she had, that you had posted, she's like, no, you're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. It's like, on. It's on. She's like, look, look. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks horrible. And she's like, Dad didn't believe that those were your toes until he seen your um, toe ring. <laughs> and then my granddaughter's like, Nana's toes? What's 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 wrong with Nana's toes? <laughs> I'm like, don't be showing people that, Tia. That looks horrible. <laughs> I said, wait until the after to right. see the full effect of how much exactly. they, what change they made. <laughs> It's very important to get as much of this buildup out from underneath the free edge so the nail can begin to attach back to the nail bed and the nail mycosis can penetrate underneath and into the area to get rid of the nail fungus and prevent it from populating. She just played over and over. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> and then it went into slow motion. She's like, my yes. watch, it's going to go into slow motion. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want to see that. <laughs> She's like, that's so cool. And I'm like, that is disgusting. <laughs> she goes, I love it. The fact that she put it in slow motion. <laughs> I think it's fun watching it come out. <laughs> oh, she loves that stuff. <laughs> I don't know what channel it's on, but um, I just happened to be going through the channels um, yesterday. Because nothing's on TV anymore, so um, there was this one show that's called this. I think it's called My Feet Hurt, but it's about Yeah, My Feet Are Killing Me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just, I was just amazed. Mm -hmm. I feel I, so I sorry for those people that they I could couldn't get help before that. There was this one um, guy that was on, it was yesterday when I was watching it. I mean, his little toenail just like went into um, like hooves curls. And yeah. it was just so painful and he was crying. And I'm like, oh my gosh, and my heart just went to him. Because I mean, I know my toes were hurting, but these were bad. bad yeah. Illness 
inside their body. And mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, Oh yeah, your toenails and your fingernails, I mean, your, even your joints, your extremities say a lot about what's going on on the inside of your body. Even with circulation and heart mm -hmm. problems and, you know, the color of the skin, the lines. People should always <laughs> oh, thanks. People should always ask to see where they disinfect and store their tools mm -hmm. because if the tub isn't disinfected and the tools aren't disinfected properly, there's a lot of stuff that can be passed from person to person. It doesn't matter if the nail tech has on gloves. The gloves and the hands are not going. I mean, it appears as though they, oh look, I'm being clean, I'm putting on gloves. But they're being, well, not all, because, but a lot, especially the little walk-in places, they're not cleaning their tools properly in between clients. And the tools are what is going under your toenail and touching your toenail. They have on gloves they don't care if they give somebody a pedicure that has a wart right. and then that virus is in the tub right and yet they're filing the bottoms of people's feet with their tools and they're not and then they're spreading the wart virus to people a couple of years ago around here we went through a dilemma where people were catching warts on the bottoms of their feet from places around here and then they would come in here and I'm like, oh no, nope, right. can't do it. They're like, why not? I get them down. I'm like, yep, yeah, well, that's probably why you have yeah. them. <laughs> I got that. How's that feel? Good. Something really 
really hard under there. Everybody so was so disappointed. <laughs> they were like, wait a minute. What ha I thought you were going to remove the splinter. What happened? Didn't you show it? And I'm like, it just fell off. Remember? I was just rubbing right. it with the towel and it yeah. just came off. pattern that I've seen. Plus I don't get to see the progress of the toenail changing. And that's what I look at even after I had the shower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's growing. <laughs> all right, straighten all the way out. Um, once we get it filed off, it's from your shoes. Mm -hmm. Do you wear a lot of heels yeah. still? Yeah. So it's just your body making a little bit of extra padding. I would recommend. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of extra padding. I don't. Did need I it. give you some of those silicone pads um, for yes. the bottom of your yeah. shoes? Are you wearing those? No, not okay. like I should. But that's what you put those because on I... because it slips over your toes. Okay. Yeah. getting a new product from the same line mm -hmm. that's a really awesome foot cream I've been trying it for the past couple of months and this makes your foot really soft yeah. oh, like God. super 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 soft the urea foot balm so hopefully we'll have that in the next couple of weeks use it when I massage her leg today and I'll be able to tell the difference. Did you massage go off? I'm 
was, so it's just doing the lower part. How pale I am <laughs> compared to your pretty skin. <laughs> and I'm pale right now. <laughs> having our holiday sun. party for our staff next weekend uh -huh. and I ordered this dress and I it's red and I put it on and I was like oh no <laughs> no 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 I am way too pale to wear that ready to make a post I got on my Instagram the other day and I, people send me pictures all day long and mm -hmm. ask me questions and so I started going through all of the questions and, and asking them how is your foot doing how is your foot doing how is your foot doing and I was so disappointed because you know I spend a lot of time, time doing the answering yeah. these questions and they didn't follow through they're like no I never did that no and I'm like hmm you didn't really want help that right. bad if you aren't going to to follow through with it yeah like, yeah, like I felt bad me. not doing it two times a um, day you know and then when my daughter's like oh well, you better do it three times if you can make up the time you want and I'm like no I think they're gonna know over time yeah. <laughs> you know, some days I would remember and then you just get so caught up in your everyday oh yeah I know that I was faithful with doing it before I went to sleep after I got out of the shower. Yeah, I get up at 4.45 in the morning. Last 
thing I want to do is be putting lotion on my body mm -hmm. and <laughs> cream on my toes. <laughs> So what I was starting to say was that I was going to make a post saying um, to please send me a before and after picture if you've been using the products and, right. and you took a before picture. So I could make some little before and after pictures so people could see other people's progress. Right. Um, it's really hard for me to keep track of. One person will send me a photo and then I won't get a photo for months more in a new message and I'm like, I have no idea where that first message was. Right. Or, or they'll send me a picture in an email and then they'll send me something on Facebook and I'm like, oh yeah, no, I, there's no way I'm ever going to no. find that other one. I mean, I, I have thousands. <laughs> well, mine will be different because I have a toe ring. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Can't forget your feet. Well, the videos are different. I'm talking about just from the general population out there in the world who send me pictures. Mm -hmm. So if they can't come here, they'll send you a picture and then you'll, they can buy the product mm -hmm. and put it on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Everything that I use is available on our online store. Oh, is that? Okay. Yeah. the one who found you she's like mom you're going to this um lady i'm telling you she's gonna fix your toes and i'm like yeah and where is she from and she's like i don't know i'm gonna find out though i've been um following her <laughs> i said okay and then when she said she's in Celine. you're not gonna believe it it's close to home because i was thinking okay she's probably in california somewhere and right it, you know i'll probably never you know <laughs> have her look at my feed and when she says Celine I'm like Celine it's only like 35 minutes for us <laughs> This one time. <laughs> All right, then Jenny, you put your foot right there. You can see that deep yellow area. That is what I'm still trying to get out. It's really important to get that compacted material out, but I do not want to hurt the client and cause another issue. But you can see I've made enough space now that the nail mycosis solution will be able to penetrate underneath there really well and loosen that remaining material so on her next visit the results should be outstanding. Okay. Is it where the line, the white line, right in that corner is at? Mm -hmm, that's where right here. Uh -huh. That's still lifted. Okay. So I was just cleaning out from underneath there so the nail mycosis solution can get underneath. How's that feel? Feel weird? Uh-uh. You can tell where it still has 
with some bacteria, I guess you could say, that's in it. Or just this lifted spot. Mm -hmm. See how I'm getting this build up out from underneath there? Sometimes it just feels funky. I don't want to press into your skin. Yeah. Have you seen what my toes looked like before? <laughs> that doesn't hurt. <laughs> This really hard thing right here. How's that feel? Uh, I can't feel anything. What the heck is that? Fire rock. Yeah, I got it. Lotion salt. Mm -hmm. It's like silky. <laughs> it is. You know how like some lotions are oily. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not making my legs oily or anything. Mm -hmm. It's light. For sandal season for you? I know, me too.
done that knee. That foot right there. their own ringtone. <laughs> well, I might watch it and show it. Oh. <laughs> the before and after pictures are coming right up, but I want you to please stay safe and stay well. I appreciate you all for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.